Six possible game changers for our industry. Idea number one. Stop using corn. Stop using corn. It is the height of lunacy to take six pounds of corn to make one pound of beef. It makes no sense whatsoever to take two pounds of corn. Hallelujah, I've converted it into one pound of chicken. You will not get the Nobel Prize for that. We've got to start using fiber. And fiber is in abundance, but corn is not. A blind insect has been converting fiber for thousands and thousands of years. And it does so by taking the fiber, by grinding the fiber, by putting a fungus on the fiber and letting the fungus do the breaking. We call them termites. Our system is called solid state fermentation and it's identical. The technology is there. Wherever you go, whatever you see, you're given this message. 38%, 48%, 58% of the people buying meat don't want us to have antibiotics in our feed. We want antibiotics for humans. But you say, well, but yeah, there, there's flavors out there and there's essences out there and there's no solution. The European Union doesn't agree with you. After eight years of evaluation, they now say, Legislation, Article 13, I'll read it. Article 13, 767, 2009, biomass improves animal performance, it enhances feed efficiency, it stimulates the natural defenses, and improves the function of the digestive system. And you tell me there isn't a solution? There's a solution, there's not a will. Imagine through program nutrition, answering the question, what would you prefer? Okay, what's for dinner? Yeah, I gotta watch my cholesterol, I gotta watch my fast, I gotta watch my calories. So a steak would be lovely, I really wanna have it, but when I look at the fat and the calories, unfortunately I gotta have chicken. But imagine, imagine you having a steak with a lower cholesterol than chicken, a lower fat than chicken, a lower calories than chicken. And such a product is available. And it's available through program nutrition, and it's available now. Incidentally, it costs no more. And incidentally, you can do exactly the same with chicken, and you do exactly the same with pigs. What's the world record for a dairy cow? Well, in Wisconsin, on a small farm there, third lactation, one cow produced 72,000 pounds of milk per year, 32,000 kilos. My question is, why then are we satisfied with yields which are a quarter of that, or a third of that? Well, one cow, third lactation, 32,000 kilos, that's the Roger Bannister. That's what we should be aiming for. That's what nutrition should be giving us. And so that, why don't we get 40 pigs per sow? Because genetically, you should be able to. Face facts. Face the facts of global warming. Face the facts that the fingers are being pointed at us. Methane nitrous oxide, carbon dioxide. We are polluters. So what can we do? Well, what we can do is shift our thinking. What we can do is think of the farm of the future, where we will have wind power, where we'll have algae, where we'll have methane digesters, where we'll use cellulose through SSF, not corn. Think of the farm of the future. And some of you, in fact, have already glimpsed this farm of the future when you saw our algae production in Winchester. 1.2, 1.3 million liters of fermentation, 10,000 tons of algae. Idea number six, 
is that you be a leader. So what exactly is a leader? Is somebody or some person, man or woman, who, who passionately believes in something but goes about it with a passion, that's a leader. They make things happen. Six things to do. Fiber, not corn. Antibiotics should be in our hospitals, not in our feed. Program nutrition. Feeding an animal to its genetic potential, embracing new technologies such as algae, and being a leader. These six things are the things that will feed the world, and we desperately need to feed the world. Be fast, take a chance, aim high.